you from the things that you want to do in life. Hopefully you are a strong individual that feels as though you are going to make things happen because you are a true leader and you do not take no for an answer. Anybody else said. I don't know if you know about this and stuff, but I want to bring this to your attention. I don't know if you know about it, but I'm just going to let you know. Now, I don't know if you know about this, but Kansas. Now, Kansas wants to ban trans women or trans people from updating their birth certificate. Did you hear what I said? I'm going to say it again. Kansas wants to ban transgender people from updating their birth certificate. Now this happened in, um, which is last number, which is um, May 15, I believe when it came on the, um, you know, on the charts as far as, you know, in six weeks they said it could be in effect. And this is in Kansas. I don't know if you know about this, but I'm explaining to your forefront. Kansas wants to prevent people from the LGBT, well not the LGBT, but the trans communities that are, um, you know, dating, you know, basically putting your past as far as, you know, you're living a new life and you don't have to do back checks as far as who is this person, you know, what was their gender, reference to that, you know how first of it goes, born as, you know, you change your name and you change your gender and most time we're doing this because we want to get successful as far as getting a job. And we'll be acknowledged as the person that we are and not being used against us as far as, you know, through our transition. You know, because in the world we live in, people always want to go into our past to try to find different ways to destroy the character that we are. So they're trying to give people a chance as far as living their life, as far as the person. It is very sad that we have to go through this because in, in the world that I live in, acceptance is acceptance. But, you know, with the world we live in, we're going to have people that's going against the grain as far as we're trying to live our life. Anyway. So now, um, a woman by the name of Stephanie, she um, is the first, her name is Stephanie, um, let me check if this is correct, her name is Stephanie Ma. And she told the department at the official presiding at the hearing that children will die. You know, this is a trans woman right here. Basically, what she's saying is that children would die if they can't live the life that, you know, they want to live. When she says that, she's talking in reference to suicide. And she wants, um, she also wants to become, um, the first trans woman of Kansas House of Representatives. And they say she may have a chance. Okay. Now, Stephanie told, um, the regulations will be written in their blood, meaning suicide, if they don't, you know, get it passed. And basically, she got an attorney. Now, the attorney name is um, Pedro, and he, um, he's following the comments and doing the hearing proposed regulation, regula regulatory change from the state health department. Right here, see. Now he's with her and everything, and basically they're trying to fight as far as now. You know, I don't know if you remember this, but it was a woman by the name of Mary. Mary filled this out. Um, make sure this is correct as far as Mary. Now Mary is was um, the Kansas State Senator Mary Poacher Cook. Supports the anti trans bill. Now, if you remember her, there was a bill that was on the table in reference to, um, you know, um, Think Progress Report. Now, I've already told you about this before. It was about if you caught a trans you know, woman inside the bathroom, you could report her and receive $2,500. Catch a trans in the bathroom. This is the bill that, you know, Mary had suggested. Now, this was called the bathroom bill, which in May died. Okay. Now, this is this bill and everything. Let me tell you something. I didn't know about this, but I found it in reference to her. 
you know, before number which is a good thing. She was actually removed, you know, from the um she was removed, but anyway, before I get to that, she was removed from the chairman back in February the thirteenth. Now this is what this bill became as far as twenty five hundred dollars. You know, basically what it said if you go to transfer inside the bathroom, this bill was gonna be you know, could receive twenty five hundred dollars. Now this is what you'd be compensated for by return we basically by you being transferred to the bathroom, you could be compensated because you suffer some type of listen, this is what it says. Psychological, emotional, and physical harm um, as a result of violation of the section. So you've been harmed, you've been psychologically, so visibly you can't do with the fact that there's a trans person in the bathroom. Emotionally and physically harmed. So, because her using her hands to wash the toilet and then use the toilet, that physically harms you. Uh, anyway, it was thrown out. And, um, so basically, um, she violated the Senate rules and stuff. Mary Phyllis, so though, the record should document that the science behind the person's gender is not political issues, not a political issue. And she feels as though that people need to realize that men and women are different and we don't need to be detached from this reality. Well, Mary, guess what? We're not detached from this reality because if we were detached from this reality, we'd be having a discussion right now. We realize that there are different sexes out here as far as men and women, but we want to recognize that people are different. You know, it is sad because I understand they want to talk about transgender issues and stuff, and you know, the transgender um, umbrella can be, become very big, and I really want to go into all that because there's a lot of debate when it comes to that. You know, my personal belief as, as far as transgenders and stuff, I feel as though uh, it's an umbrella that I feel as everybody needs to be up underneath. But anyway, before I go into all that, I wish I'm not going to go into all that actually. But, um, you know, and um, Stephanie Mott, you know, and she was presiding and she actually was interviewed in reference to what she's trying to do. This kind of came out of nowhere. This, this kind of. No, this, this didn't come out of nowhere. This came out of an administration that is completely and totally willing, willing to harm innocent people. I, keep in mind that bigotry wrapped in prayer is still bigotry. And the sanctimonious righteousness with which the administration speaks and their willingness to hurt people people like Stephanie and our gay, lesbian, and transgender population in general should not be tolerated by a civilized society. It is time they stop making Kansas the laughing stock of our nation. We need to move forward in unity, recognizing everyone's equality, not just the ones they choose. People, the last, people have been allowed to make these changes in the past in Kansas, haven't they? Absolutely, with absolutely no harm to the state. None whatsoever. Do you know how long they were able to do that? How many years? I, I, don't, I can't tell you the number of years, but the question that I would ask is, what is the state's inherent interest in denying this lady equality under the law? What do they see as being benefit to Kansas by treating Stephanie on Equally. What's the benefit to Kansas and people in Kansas? None. None whatsoever. P Pedro, um, if the department goes ahead with these regulatory changes, do you anticipate filing a lawsuit? I mean, you mentioned the J. Noel Gardner case, and uh, it strikes me the way for that to get undone is for the Supreme Court to undo it. Um, do you have any see litigation here? Absolutely. If this is passed, there will be litigation challenging this constitutionality. So, Stephanie, the person who makes this final change is Secretary Moser. She's not here today. Um, if, if you could speak to Secretary Moser and Governor Brownback directly, what would you want to say to them? If I could have them sit down with me and get to know me and tell you my name. Yeah. And if they did that, I think they would see the thing entirely differently. They're making judgments about people that they don't even actually know anything about. And they would just take and have, you know, 15 minutes and sit down with me as a human being and they would see that a lot of these preconceptions that they have about what people are like. Okay, you know, basically she was saying, you know, just have a talk with her. She basically trying to work with reasoning, you know, to try to understand what's actually happening here as far as, 
you know, she doesn't want any trans person that's coming up to and they, they do think about suicide and she's trying to fight so they don't have to experience this type of, you know, thing that the discrimination thing when it comes down to this. And, you know, it's really sad because a lot of trans people are actually trying to do the right thing as far as what society says to do. But it seems like the right thing is never really right. It seems as if you just want us basically to go away, you know, like you want the gay people to just go away. You know, the sad part about it is like, oh, I don't sign on about all these gay people, you know, it's gay, what it was that, gay, sir, gay army, a gay army, you know. You know, it amazes me how people want to act as though gay people just arrived here. Gay people have been around for years. What also stated that it's something in the food that they're giving to people, but gay people have been around way longer than people want to realize. The thing about it is I don't understand that people just want to exclude, exclude it from. It amazes me how we want to act like they just come out the closet. They feel so it's more safer to come out the closet now. And a lot, a lot, a lot of our lives are still in danger as far as coming out the closet. Let me tell you something. I don't know if you ever realized this. You ever see those like things when you see, like on Facebook, they have people. They this this man is being set on fire and the man is being killed and they say, well, this man is a child molester. He molested little kids. That's not what they're saying. And when you share this picture, I hope you know what you're sharing. That person didn't um, molest children. They want you to sign on, hit the like button and say, well, they got what they deserved. That person was gay. And when you say gay, they put us in that pedophile, like the bathroom. So when you decide to like and share the story, realize what you're actually sharing. You're sharing someone as someone like you. If you're in a gay thing, you know, as far as being LGBT. But if you're not, you're going to do what you have to do anyway. I just want you to keep that in mind that that storyline that you're reading is actually a person that's like you. That's being misrepresented because they want people to hate this person. Which is you, in case you don't know. That's you. So when a person being murdered and killed and all that blood set on fire and it says child molester, they're talking about you. I assume that's just what you want to think about, you know, when you want to share that story. You know, as far as Miss Moss, you know, thank you, Stephanie, for trying to fight, you know, as far as that. And, you know, it is a struggle that we all have to go through. And also, um, just to let you know that there are a lot of transgender women out here that's actually fighting and stuff. And let me see, Mana, I think it's Monticello, New York City. There is a trans woman by the name of S. Charles. And she's on YouTube as well. She actually went to a hearing as far as fighting up in Monticello, New York. And she was fighting in reference to, you know, transgender issues. And she was letting them know of the things and the barriers, that the, the costs that we have to bear. And the things that we're trying to do as far as representing ourselves. And, you know, get an understanding so they can have more compassion and understanding of our journey and our story. Now, I don't know if it fell upon the deaf ears, but she was out there and she was fighting. And I realized a lot of girls who was actually in the fighting this of trying to let people get their word out there as far as being trans and understanding their story is that not being heard of. And thank you, S. Charles, for out there, for doing your thing, you know, and supporting the trans community as far as yourself. And, you know, I appreciate it. I love you because I know, I know a lot of times when we go out there, we step outside the box to fight for us. A lot of times it's our knowledge. And I feel as though we need to support these girls who actually put themselves out there in the front line, you know, as far as letting people know, you know, um, of our journey. You know, we always want to, we always want to capitalize on the ones out there, but there are a lot of girls that are actually pushing who are not being acknowledged. So I acknowledge all of you girls out there who are fighting, who are on YouTube, who are out there fighting to try to get a better way so you can help your up and coming trans baby sisters and your trans youth sisters. Up. I, I acknowledge you and I love you and stay strong and you are appreciated. You are appreciated. Don't you never think that you're not. Because I know a lot of times you watch everybody get all these accolades and stuff like that. Everything you feel as though you're doing, it just falls on deaf eyes, deaf ears, and blind eyes. But I see you. I see you and I love you. And thank you for trying. Anyway, and Stephanie Mark, thank you too. You know, because I don't know if anybody knows, you know, and stuff like that. You know, I never heard of her, but I'm going to thank her. And I think anyone else, you know, and the struggle as we try to live our life and try to find a better way of living, you know, anyway, being said. Anyway, I just wanted to put it out there that you know that Kansas wants to ban birth certificates being changed. They want to stop it. And it's supposed to happen within six weeks and we'll see what happens. I'll keep you a follow up at this point. Anybody been saying 
I want to thank you for watching and I want to thank you for subscribing and I want you always to stay strong and I want you to know that I love you because you never know when you never this may ever be my last video to you because I never never really know what life turns is but I want you to know one thing that I love you and you are appreciated and I want you to keep on fighting don't never stop fighting no matter what it is that you want in life until we meet again